Yeah, because I'm going to unmute. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Tonight on Ancient Mysteries, a man buried alive for 47 years with a cow and two kittens lives to tell. Uh, actually, this is David Jameson here at ProPride Industries, home of the 3P ProPride Hitch. We're going to get going shortly. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this episode and be entered into our upcoming raffle. But first, let's watch this. Hello everyone, this is David Jamison here at ProPride, the home of the 3P. Give me 60 seconds, please. Let me ask you two questions. What excuse are you telling yourself and what truths are you keeping from your family? It is a truth proven by physics that a ball hitch must sway. There's no way around it. And any type of attachment or hitch that says it is sway control is admitting that the trailer will sway and the apparatus will attempt to control that inevitable sway. This family in this video thought that they were all set just like 100% of all sway accidents. Nobody thinks it'll happen to them. They feel they're safe reasons like the tongue weight was distributed properly. They were traveling slow. They thought that it just wouldn't happen to them. So they couldn't plan for it. Simple physics prove that sway is not if, it is when. There are two links here, one for more info and one for getting real. This is David Jamison from ProPride Industries, the home of the 3P ProPride Hitch, and I will see you next week, whether you like it or not. Welcome back to ProPride TV, everyone. I'm sure you are ready for another rip-roaring episode here at ProPride Studios. I'm here with my buddy, Mr. Lazar. We won't even get into his last name. He's kind of like Madonna. He just has a name, Lazar. In fact, that's probably pretty, if you were ever like had talent like in music or rapping, you could just be Lazar. I will be. Yeah. So anyway, I said if he ever were to. I'm manifesting you, it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, right now we are getting going. Don't forget, like, share, and comment. If you share into a group, you get two entries. And if you provide a little video, which we'll talk about in a minute, you get five entries. And it's coming up next week. On Wednesday, we will be drawing for the $2,000 raffle. But first, let's take a look at who's watching. Who's watching today? We got a ton of watchers. Let's Mike, hear. Mike Miller, Butch Silla, Kyle Johnson, Richard Vaughn. Kyle Johnson said the set is looking good. Thanks, Kyle. Joe, KJ, KJ. KJ. Yep. Joe Whiting, good oh. morning, gentlemen. LaToya Jackson. LaToya, LaToya Jackson. Jackson is on today, yes. David Shipley. Oh, Jerry Seinfeld. He heard about us, he's watching now. Jerry and LaToya. Thank you. And of course, Mrs. Alex Huang is on again. She is one of our biggest supporters. A nice, nice woman. And, and we want to say a, a good morning to Cash Jacobson as well. And Dave Roberts just said, let's go. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Dave Roberts, he's a go-getter. He, he with a name like Dave Roberts, he's probably a little bit of an ass kicker. I, I, you I, think? I think so. So anyway, anyone else? That's that so far. So shout out to all our ProPride friends and thank you for joining us. For this good information, we will have Brent on, and of course, you know, you got to hear the music for us. It kind of, it, uh, what would you, it summons him. It's, the music summons him like to the set. Yeah, kind of like, like, uh, what was that? Uh, the, Aladdin? Yeah, like Aladdin. <laughs> he's, he's like a genie. We play that music and he shows up. Watch, it'll work today. So anyway, don't forget, we have the upcoming $2,000 raffle that is anchored by the solar panel system provided by nuts and Airstream Nuts and Bolts. And speaking of nuts and bolts, everything good with you, Lazar? <laughs> everything. Okay, Speed great. Tightly. But Mr. Ronnie Dennis is providing it, and I think um, Brent, he's on set. He's hiding behind a, a light again. Have, uh, didn't Ronnie get some other business from our commercials? Yeah, Ron, I'm sure he's... Busy. Oh. Ronnie is a busy man. He is. And he's, you know, has two first names. So he's got a backup. That is What's your, do you have a middle name? BR. BR. Lazar BR. That, that's that's got a rhyme to it. I didn't even know this, people. <laughs> Lazar BR. Can you, we can put that in middle, can, yeah, you better hit that a couple times. Right there. So anyway, 
That takes us now to don't forget if you submit, it's a little simple video. Seriously, grab your phone and say, I love the 3P. I, it does this for me. This is what I've experienced and send it to Lazar or Brent and you get five entries and you only have a few more days to get into the $2,000 raffle and I think you can do it. A lot of people like to send them in, in writing. Let's get, let's get some videos and next, at the, the uh, contest of sorts that we're going to have starting next at, after this raffle is going to be a lot easier. It's not going to require videos yeah. and it's going to be pretty neat. We're going to have, isn't it, we're going to have scratch offs. Yes. Digital scratch-offs. So you actually get scratch-offs for helping us out. It's going to be new. It's going to be sweet. Fun. And, and everything's okay? Speaking of scratch-offs, everything's I'm good with you? Okay. Trying, I'm trying. So that takes us now to sponsorship. And don't forget, if you'd like us to broadcast information regarding your business, just send us the information, and we will send you ours back. Speaking of scratching, you scratch our back, we scratch yours. Love it. And let me see here, that takes us to sponsorship, and now it's time for our first commercial break. Hey, it's Dave here from Pro Pride. Just want to talk to you a little bit about our 0% financing. If you are ready to purchase a 3P pivot point projection hitch from Pro Pride, right now you can get it with nothing down, 0% interest for 18 months. That's 18 equal payments, 0% interest. Right now is the time to act because we're building them and shipping them as fast as we can. So look for our 0% offered on our site and see you soon. Mm -hmm. You hear that? What's up? Sound of money? It sounds like something. It sounds like Brent's music. Oh, I can't hear it. Are we live? Oh, we're live? We're can live. you hear that, people? Can you hear that music? Like a light, look, watch. We don't even have to say his name. But here he comes. It's my name. It's Tech Talk for Brian so time. Up. Something special. Yeah. It is. You're so special, special. 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> is, it still, is it still playing the music? Yes. Great. Brent is something special and he's here with us today and it's going to get easier. It will get easier. He, since we have 52 episodes, he's just going to give one tip. And then we're going to have links, so that way he'll give you the tip, and then you can go watch the detailed explanation on a link on a video, and you can replay it. Yep. Yep. So yeah. today, Brent is going to talk about can you tow an ATC or car, car hauler with a 3P? Now, what? First off, what is an ATC? It's just a it's a brand of trailer. So they've oh. become increasingly more popular, but uh, the difference of them is they've got aluminum uh, aluminum frames on them. So instead of being a standard two by six inch frame, it's a two by eight inch frame. So it's a little bit, uh, I guess, deeper, so to speak. I always get that messed up. Anyways, instead of six, it's eight. And uh, it does require, well, here, we'll, we'll, we'll do this first. I mean, you absolutely can do this. You can absolutely tow with an ATC with a, with a Pro Pride, which is a good thing, because uh, it's a great trailer. Um, a lot of people have them, but a lot and, of people- And it's an RV. Um, yeah, they can be. So some of them, I mean, there's so many different ATCs there, uh, but they're typically like a, in a toy hauler kind of capacity. Uh, so people are using these for uh, multiple things, including, you know, putting their toys in the back. But some, of, some people, they're so nice that a lot of people just use them because they've got so much room, they can do whatever they want in them, whether it's like make a little patio or whatever. So it's, it's an awesome option. Uh, they're just uh, south of us in uh, Indiana too. Really? So uh, yeah, we're seeing increasingly more because this thing, the 3P, of course, works fantastic with the ATCs. Um, and you most definitely can use them with it. I just wanted to go over a couple of things because we're getting lots of customers that are asking this specific question about the ATC and just about regular like car haulers too. There's a number of them out there like Hallmark is another brand that's out there for it too. Uh, so we, uh, I just wanted to like make sure that uh, everybody knew that you absolutely can use these with it. The catch is with ATCs is you've got to have uh, a couple of different parts from us to make it work. It's not anything additional, we don't charge anymore, but you do have to have like a special yoke. It's a double stack yoke. So it's like nice. having two yokes. Right, but two yolks are two better yolks. than one. Two yolks yeah. are better than one. Right? So, I've always said that. My granddad used to say that to me, Dave. <laughs> two yolks are better than one. 
And that's Y O K E S, not Y O L K, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was joking about because it's like you know two two yokes. Yolks, anyways, yeah. It is a yoke, but it's not two. Don't get that. Okay. We're get... trying to try to get this down to three minutes, but we're not even in the first freaking subject. But we're, we're only on like a minute. minute and twenty, I okay. think. And I'm like, this is I'm gonna speed through this stuff here right here. So the uh, yoke is just a double stack. It just actually sits down lower to accommodate that eight H frame. That's it. That's no big deal. So there's really a couple things I want you to consider if you're wanting to put a 3P on a non like standard traditional travel trailer is uh, the, the frame width and height. If it's a two by eight, you're gonna need some special parts for it. And uh, if you've got a car hauler, um, the biggest piece on that is probably gonna be that we've gotta have a minimum height from the coupler to the ground of 18 inches for the 3P to actually have enough clearance. So make sure that uh, that's the case, and that's with your trailer measuring le level front to back. Why do they usually for. run lower? Car they hauls? will, yeah. Due to and, the weight? Um, well, just because of the kind of the profile. So they're usually smaller or lower to the ground since you can get things on and off of them easier. So I have a layperson question for you. Would the airbags help that? Um, man, he's like throwing some See, airbags like this. Man. Speaking of airbags, <laughs> no, it wouldn't good, actually. Anyway. It wouldn't, because uh, we're talking about literally the trailer, it how it sets. No, no it you wouldn't. would maybe have to get uh, a couple I'm of things. Remember, I'm the crazy finance guy. I'm not the airbag uh, t install guy. <laughs> so there we go. So, so, a couple Wait. things, real quick. Hold on, before we go over this oh, couple okay. of things, we have a commercial break coming. Very good. So affiliate network. Hey everyone, David Jamison here, the crazy finance guy. And speaking of finance, remember if you like to talk about the 3P, all you have to do is go over to our affiliate network page, sign up, and we will give you links, QR codes, all that crazy stuff. If you have any questions, you can email Lazar and he will be happy to help you. You know how much attention he likes. So all you have to do is while you're talking about the benefits and the enjoyment of using the 3P, you can actually make money, 300 bucks to be exact. So go to the affiliate page and sign up today. Thanks. And we're back. What a, that's a good uh, commercial. Remember the affiliate network, you can make money just for just talking about it. You make money talking about the hitch. I you think I do. It. Right, exactly. <laughs> we have payouts going today, actually. For the we do. Yes. Joe Wren, probably. Uh, I believe Joe Wren. We had two Joe others Wren. that are getting over $300 today. I mean, it's, right. it's free money. Right. Just talking about the Joe hitch. Wren, he won a raffle, too, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Joe he, Wren he is it. the man. He called, he called it. it. He's like Babe. He's the Babe Ruth of the three P. <laughs> I'm winning that. He is. He's like I, he told Woodruff. He said, "I'm going to win this," and he did. Yeah. Yeah. We're in amazement too. It was wild. It's all mindset. Okay. So anyway, he's got two points to wrap wrap this up. <laughs> two points now. So, real quick. So, a minimum of 18 inches is what we need for clearance, and then really it's just. Uh, about where the yoke is gonna set on your frame. But bottom line is, if you've got <clears throat> an ATC, uh-oh, <clears throat> I'm going down. So if you've got an ATC or a <clears throat> regular car hauler, just give us a call. Give us a call, we'll work through anything that you need as far as parts wise, and we'll make sure that it's absolutely gonna work. So give us a call, email, text, however you wanna get a hold of us. But we can make it work most of the time for you, but we definitely wanna make sure it's right the first time so you don't get your hitch system and then we have to like try and get things back and exchange and stuff like that. So so I think we should start his music and go <laughs> roll into the review. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. So that was Tech Talk by Brent. Can you hear that music? Yes, we can. So it's really nice to have Brent on the set again. <laughs> And we'll roll right into this week's review since Brent is here. And then we're going to see a crash picture that Brent will try to explain to us. Uh -oh. And it's a nasty one. So are we, are we ready for the review? We are. Brent, do you know this Rob Ravendell? Um, Does it ring a bell? I'm sure I do. This is one heck of a review. It is. Before buying a ProPride hitch, my Cherokee Gray Wolf 26 BRB swayed constantly. I weighed the trailer, tow vehicle, tongue weight, gross weight, etc. Everything was dialed into perfection. Still sway. Trucks passing, rain, inclines, wind, speeds of 55 miles per hour would all cause sway. By driving with one hand on the trailer brake controller and a watchful eye, I could stop the sway, but towing in anything above 10 mile per, mile per hour wind was a nightmare. Since I bought the hitch, speaking of the 3P, in April, I've towed my travel trailer 2,300 miles cross country through mountains, wind, rain, interstates, highways, and even small country roads. Never has the trailer even considered swaying. 
When I first installed the hitch, I test towed it on, on an interstate. Without even realizing it, I was towing at 65 miles per hour and one hand on the wheel. The sway was gone. Support and customer service have been second to none. Install was very easy following the directions that were sent with the hitch. This is an awesome product and the people behind it are just as good as the product itself. Quality of materials used to make the hitch are impeccable and with care, I am sure this will be the last hitch I will ever buy. And he sums that up. And this is the guy yeah, right here stuff. with the customer service. And, and I'm, even though we joke around here, you have no idea the amount of respect <laughs> we have for each other because this is, we got a heck of a team. Oh, yeah. And even Lazar said it the other day, I'm not embarrassed to say, he says, we have like an all-star team here. Absolutely. And we really do. We take Absolutely. this stuff serious and we make sure people are taken care of. Yeah. And it's only, only I, I like to call it a conversion kit because it's really not a hitch. It's converting the dynamics of the trail of the trailer or the RV mm -hmm. to a fifth wheel dynamics. Yeah. Or fifth wheel, uh, what would that be? Uh, what's the Just, word I'm looking at? Physics. Would it be go. physics? Yeah. Anyway. I always like to use the word stability. Sta he, you know stability why? equals no sway. Stability okay. equals no sway. But you know <clears> what? <throat> Let's take a look at when sway did jump up and bite someone. Take a look at the crash of the week here, Brent. And yeah, that's not a pretty one. That's not a pretty one. This can happen to anyone. If you look at a ball hitch, it has to sway, right? Yeah, it Did does. Did we play the, the, the very first video? Was that me <clears throat> speaking, Lazar? That was you speaking. Yes, okay. Correct. So like, like we say, it's not if, it's when. Mm -hmm. And what would happen, wouldn't you agree, Brent, that after a certain amount of time, you get used to things and you, you're... You let your guard down, yep, absolutely. then it catches you. Yep, it may be 10% that you have no sway, maybe 90% you have no sway, but it's that little bit that you do that, that can happen. Bad, bad news, yeah. So, so just eliminate it and not worry about it. That's exactly. What we talk about. Exactly. Now, what? How big was that truck? Can you? That tell? one, I, you know, that one actually. I think there was a couple comments on that one where it was like a three-quarter ton, I believe. So that's another one too. Is that um, a large truck? Where yeah, it's like a, it's one of the bigger, half ton, three quarter than one ton. So most definitely the uh, three quarter ton doesn't always make the difference. So bigger is not better. It's another right. example of exactly that. Right. Just because you got a bigger truck doesn't mean that you're going to have uh, more stability. In fact, it can be more dangerous because you don't feel this way until it's actually too late, and then crazy stuff like that happens. Okay. So. Yeah. And this encompasses it all. I mean, look at them. Yeah. They're just looking at it like there's vacations gone, the RV's gone. I'm yeah. sure the truck is destroyed. Well, can you imagine if, if I, I'm like, I've seen some of these where the truck ends up not in a very good situation. And right. if there's children mm -hmm. in the car, pets. Sure. Oh, yeah. You know? It's a bad situation all the way around. And, and think about the cost of buying a fifth wheel, getting the fifth wheel hitch, getting a dually, mm -hmm. getting a pickup. Or you can just get the conversion kit, the three P conversion kit, there you go. and keep your SUV, keep your trailer, keep everything. Yeah. Right. So that leads us down to questions. I, Lazar, you said there was a comment. Someone said they saw a. Yeah, there's been two. Um, Airstream. <clears throat> Les Grace said, "I just seen a post of an Airstream upside down in Virginia," and Joe Whiting said. Saw that Airstream also tried to pass a wide load and went all bad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was not pretty. It was literally upside down, crushed, done. It's not oh, ever coming wow. back. Yeah, they had uh, they had you know a, a vehicle that was uh, interesting too. They're towing with, um, a, I believe it was a Navigator, Lincoln Navigator, which we've got actually customers that have Lincoln Navigators and such, um, and it does provide the stability that you need. Wow. But uh, it was uh, yeah, it was definitely unfortunate because it's literally that whole that rig destroyed. is done. Oh, yeah. wow. Done, done. But nobody um, was hurt, thank goodness. So. Now, I know Airstreams are, are engineered to... Be a little more streamlined. A little bit more streamlined, mm -hmm. right? But it still does eliminate. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, no. Exactly. They're, they're one of our... Wouldn't you say that's very common? We, what oh, yeah. percentage? We Absolutely. get a lot of Airstream customers, right? Most definitely, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, there'll be a lots of them. I think there's a big meet uh, this next weekend in Virginia. So we've had a lot of people getting uh, hitches actually for that. So I think they want to show up in style with that on yeah. there. So we should that, be able to represent the, down there in a big way. It, it, they'll be popping, kind of like that full hawk today. Popping. Yeah, that, just like that. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen a more classic full hawk? <laughs> it is classic. 
Nice. So, so anyway, any questions for Brent no regarding the ACT, ATC, or call, car hauler? You know, that's kind of a tongue twister, car hauler. Yeah. It is. No questions. No yeah. questions. So anyway, is, um, LaToya, LaToya is still on. Jerry's left. Jerry had business to take care of, but it's good that LaToya and Mrs. Alex Huang are still here. And that leads us now to the Install Network commercial. Hey everyone, David Jamison, the crazy finance guy here at ProPride. I want to talk to you about the Install Network. Now this thing is literally blowing up. People all over the United States like to install the 3P, and there's people all over the United States that need help installing the 3P. So if you need either, go to the Install Network page. The, the link is posted below. You'll find it on our website. And sign up if you need help having an installation done for you or if you'd like to install them and pick up a few extra bucks. We're here for you and I'll see you soon. Welcome back. So the install network is blowing up, isn't it guys? Well, yeah, install network is growing by the day. We still need more. Still need, yeah. more. Still need Always more. Need more. Man, make some money out there, guys. Yeah, people are more than happy to pay someone to do this. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> It, that's just the way it works. If you like doing this, get your name out there. West Coast, East Coast especially. West, Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to sign that? Like yeah. throw some signs, West Coast and East Coast? <laughs> I'll, I'll let Lazar do that since he's like <laughs> going to be in the wrapping industry apparently. Yeah, so. Lazar. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, geez. Straight up. You better hit Avukadie on that. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, now it is time for Dad Jokes by Dave. <laughs> what does the buffalo father say to his son when he drops him off at school? Bison. <laughs> Bison. <laughs> Bison. <laughs> there it was. You like that? Oh, yeah, it's like good. almost like some Missouri Southern twang. <laughs> let's, have, <laughs> let's have Adam make a bison with a faux hawk. That would be good. That'd be funny. Yeah. So is the music playing? Yes, it is. A brute. So anyway, recap time. Don't forget the drawing is next Wednesday. You can win up to two thousand, over two thousand dollars worth of goods. Don't forget to click on the links associated with this if you'd like more information on hauling an ATC or a car hauler. And I'm just going to walk around again and say goodbye to everyone because I can see on the screen here. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you next week, whether you like it or not.